Welcome to the show. We've got uh, a couple things to talk about. I think it's going to be a little quicker today. Um, uh, it is, uh, of course, we, there's a delay or, of a day or two, but yeah. sometimes from when we record to releasing it, but it is the 3rd of May, and we could have picked this a, a week before, but it seems like every day there's mounting issues that people are talking about from uh, the reserve dollar and uh, currency and interest rates and the, the Fed just bumped rates again. Um, and so it, there's a lot of doomsday, a lot of negativity. And I think that, um, you know, there's been times where may, maybe this is, I mean, whatever people are talking about, this is really gonna have some really difficult times ahead if, if we don't pull it together. I think the point that I would like to make is that, look, I've been through a few of these before. And uh, so, so what people thought was doomsday, the worst thing that could possibly happen. And I'm telling you, I think um, what I've learned, and uh, this isn't just like a rah, rah, rah thing. It's about, okay, there's gonna be more opportunities. Let's say things even go down. What are you doing? How are you doing your business that you're actually going to be yeah. in a position that you can take advantage of? Because every time there's a shakeup, mm -hmm. there's a new lens that gets put on of how you can make money and do it. Now, the way people are talking now, they're talking about like, this is it. This is the end. I mean, the whole thing's going to implode. The whole damn economy is going to yeah. be done and over. I mean, you know, you're hearing this. That wasn't something. What's interesting about it is in 08, when things were going, when they finally had kind of the fallout, it was pretty bad, right? I mean, it was mm -hmm. the Great Recession for a reason, and, and it was affected pretty much throughout the world, you know, with the banking. Funny. We've got banking problems again here, just, in a, you know, like yeah. what, what's triggering what, right? Yeah, you know what I mean? Exactly. Is it, everything's the Fed's problem? Well, no, it's not everything, but that's probably a lot to do and all that other, all the other issues. The point is, um, are you going to run? We're not going to run. There's huge opportunity. Oh, yeah. And I believe that that comes from simple get down to the basics what are you offering mm -hmm. of, as, uh, by way of service what's your market knowledge what do you understand about what's going on and in my opinion with what's going on out there right now look we can't wave a wand and fix office right now right mm -hmm. what we found out through the pandemic and i think the trend had already started actually a little bit if you go back and looked at it people weren't working from home remotely the same way but the trend had started so what the pandemic did is expose it yeah well it also exposed um, supply chain issues, all sorts of other stuff or what that made the industrial market boom. Mm -hmm. During that time, even, you know, everybody's buying online, right? Yeah. Amazon, every other place, Wayfair. I mean, it, you know, there's a million one other places. That blows up, but then yeah. retail actually still corrects. I mean, it, yeah. we went through the retail market in real estate, right? Mm -hmm. From that standpoint, it's doing great. It, it's they've all recovered i've never seen it look like it does when you yeah. coordinate where is it at on that it, it's all in that really healthy zone mm -hmm. uh, throughout the country all 55 metros that it tracks you know from that uh, market watch um industrial still doing great now it's hard to sell and finance buildings right now because rates are being higher and these banks have allocated money mm -hmm. to to do that but so what does that affect i mean it's it's going to affect all sorts of stuff. Now, they've taken money away from office, so there's even more money potentially to go get it. But, you know, everybody that I know that's buying out there right now is saying, mm -hmm. you want more, right? You don't, you don't want us to come in with now 75%. Uh, you want us to come in with, uh, excuse me, uh, more. Yeah. You know, down. So instead of coming in with 25%, you want us to come in with 50%. Mm -hmm. and, and rates are a little higher. And yeah. You know, here's how it's affecting us, and it's it, it's a real dilemma. It's a real problem, right? Mm -hmm. Now, if the bottom falls out, um, it'll be very interesting to see because people are still moving here. Yeah. Right. And there's a sh housing shortage. Yeah, there is. Uh, I mean, people are going to kick out everybody. You know, the, everything's going to go down. I just don't. Uh, even with all the problems, we have mu very many problems in the United States right now. Yeah. It's still better than any other place, right? Well, and it's still better than a lot of different time periods, yep. too, to be honest. Like, we are still in a great spot as far as, like, individually, the opportunities that are out there. Yeah. I mean, as a country, maybe things are boiling up to where they might explode. But my whole mindset is if it's not directly affecting you, which hardly anything 
directly affects us. I mean, yeah. there's new presidents and they say this and that and whatever. That a lot of the stuff doesn't even affect us. Like, yeah, gas price goes up a little bit or inflation here and there that affects us. But it's like they promise all of these things and everyone gets so worked up about the policies when it's like such minor adjustments that really, if you just focus on yourself and you're just consistency, doing what you do every single day, trying to make more money, build your business, whatever it is, well, then those things aren't even going to matter anyway. I, yeah, I, I, and we can't change any of it. Yeah, There's exactly. nothing we're going to do other than, than, I guess, a position that we take. And I do yeah. think that there, um, so in the past, in the past, um, I supported Republican candidates. Mm -hmm. I did, I think out of that, I did it mostly because it's, we're in a very conservative state, so to speak. And it's what I was around, right? Yeah. As time's gone on, I do think for myself, and I'm looking at it, it's like, okay, do I lean conservative? I'm probably in the middle. We've talked about this yeah. before. I really am. I mean, if you break down all the topics that are like supposed to be one way or the other, yeah. it's like, I'm not totally conservative on every front because yeah. I, and I don't know if that's where it's at. What I, what I love is America. I love capitalism. I love that we've got an opportunity to do it. I think there's some really broken things out there. I, yeah. I think our education system and our health care are messed up. Mm -hmm. I really do. Like, you know, I, I get the bill breakdown. Here's what they charged. Here's what my stupid insurance pays for. Yeah. Right? So I'm like, how in the doc how is the doctor making money? Yeah. I mean, sometimes I'm looking at it's like, okay, charge five grand, but to do that procedure, I mean, they got him down to like 1800 bucks. Yeah. And he was there before he came and saw me after the procedure, whatever, right? Yeah. And I'm like, okay, I mean, he's legit. I mean, he's got to pay for his time being there yeah. and stuff. So, I mean, it's like, wow, this is very interesting. Like, and the education. I mean, we referred to this too. And so, so if I'm trying to find a way to be, get a niche, right? Mm -hmm. That's finding a problem yeah. that you can solve. And it's not with your degree you're going to get. In fact, I do believe what Elon Musk has said. You don't need a degree. In fact, it might hurt you, right? Yeah. Because you were trained in an institution with all the things you were told that you can't do, yeah. right? Here's how you have to do it. Here's how you have to do everything, uh -huh. right? And this is the right way to do it. And yeah. it's this elitist view that's like, that's not solving any problems. In fact, yeah. it's, it is probably adding to the overall oh, I think so. structure problem. Well, I found, I saw this one video the other day that was talking about something I hadn't thought of, but in school, they teach you to not cheat. And really in life, you are supposed to copy other people. You're supposed to take things from other people and incorporate them into yourself. But school is just like, nope, you're on your own. Don't ask anyone for help. You've got to figure it out. When in reality, you, you can cheat off of whoever you want in life, not necessarily steal if their product. If you deem it cheating, right? I mean, yeah. so, that, so they've created these rules. Yeah, exactly. And, and, and we know that there's so, so, I mean, look, there's some people that, that are, I'm amazed. They can read something, they can, they can see it, mm -hmm. um, and they can recollect it, right? Yeah. There's times in my life that I've had some things like, wow, I, as I've gotten a little older, I'm like, man, I, maybe I did the wrong drugs or something, you know, <laughs> and I fried some of my brain yeah. or something, right? I, I need to stay away from that. You learn those problems too, right? Because mm -hmm. that's what you can and can't do in life. Yeah. Well, some other people can do them. That, yeah. They're cheating life that way, right? I can't do certain things because I've got an addictive personality with, you know, which yeah. sometimes has been work as well, right? I, yeah. I, what you're talking about. So they've created all these rules within these uh, universities. Mm -hmm. Starts in grade school, yeah. cheating. Every I've had some other friends that were freaky smart, but they were, came from a home. They didn't have a lot of support. Mm -hmm. They weren't being pushed to do their homework at night, Yeah. right? And uh, they were the guys that, you know, they kind of had their head down, they're drawing on their desk, yeah. you know, uh -huh. and they get up and they leave like a masterpiece behind. Yeah. I, if I would have had a smartphone back at the time, I would have taken a picture and like, yeah. somebody's got to, you know, this guy's a genius, right? Yeah. I mean, and he was a smart kid. There's a lot of kids like that, right? Mm -hmm. Maybe learn a little differently. Yeah. And I've never in my life, here I, so I'm 53. Mm -hmm. We talk about this on a personal level back and forth all the time. I, I probably read more. Um, watch more videos on, on topics that I'm interested in. And it's not just things that I already understand. It's like, I want to learn how to say this better. Yeah. Right? I learn more about the economy, more about life hacks, how to do things, yeah. you know, okay. I, I don't have the time to hire 
if I hire a plumber to do this one little thing, it'll be done right. And I know yeah. that. I don't have time for it. It's not, it's, not, yeah. it's not that I don't have the money. It's not that I can't. Uh, people aren't even going into trades anymore. Yeah. So, I mean, you get put on this list like, um, okay, it's an emergency. We can't be out there for two days. Well, I mean, that's yeah. not much of an emergency. You know, it's like, yeah. what, you yeah. want me to turn the water off to the house? Exactly. And, okay, so I go to YouTube. Mm -hmm. There's a guy that is a plumber. He's that tells me all the years. he's been doing it for years yeah. and he says now look if you get the thing on the package it's going to tell you to do it this way don't do it this way yeah. it'll screw it up right and i'm like that guy took 50 years worth of knowledge whatever it is yeah 30 years of doing this mm. don't do what it says here's the right way to do it and it's just a little nuance right yeah and he's sharing that with everybody and he's just making a video right so i'm like yeah. wow he's what probably making money off of that video i hope so yeah you know, especially he's got, you know, and they should be get a penalty if they get on there and do the wrong thing, right? <laughs> yeah. and, and, and it still hits because yeah. everybody's doing it the wrong way. Yeah. Uh, whatever. I mean, you know, I mean, that's <laughs> me being a little facetious on that. But, but, I mean, there's really few things that you can't find out now. And mm -hmm. so, to me, it is interesting because, you know, the richest and one of the smartest people we view who definitely thinks outside the box, whether you agree with how smart he is or not, Elon Musk, and, mm -hmm. and, and I would say even... Everybody talks about old school Buffett and stuff. He's just using old principles. That's still, still, still work. That still work. So he's doing that and he's applying it. Okay, here's the new companies. He's mm -hmm. still got it. I do know when I've read enough about him, when he buys, he's not buying shares. Yeah. He looks at it that we're buying the company, right? Mm -hmm. And they do wholly own a lot of subsidiary companies yeah. at Berkshire Hathaway. They're uh -huh. great companies that people don't even know that were that. But, you know, Apple, I think, is their largest single holding. Mm -hmm. They've had that. And they just keep buying more, you know, yeah. because it's like, how can you go wrong? It's Sa exactly. Samsung or Apple, and Apple keeps coming out with great innovations in the simple, most simple format. Yeah. Anybody can run it. I mean, and yeah, the most user friendly products and they, the simplest, sleekest design and everyone, they, they've just created such a brand that you're either iPhone and you will continue to buy Apple for the rest of your life. I mean, that's me. I haven't even ever had a Samsung. For some reason, I like Apple more. I don't know why. I've never had a Samsung. So how would I know? But I just like Apple more. And so I will continue to buy Apple. I mean, I bought a new laptop, Apple. New phone every year, Apple. I, they've just created that well, brand. They're, they're genius. Yeah. Uh, I think it was two episodes ago, maybe it was last one, we talked about how Apple destroyed Sony. When yeah. Sony really had a true corner, they could have even expanded it. They, they had all the rights to the music, Right at yeah. the time, some of those things lapsed. But at the end of the day, I mean, when they opened up the Apple Store, the mm -hmm. iTunes, and you could go do that and buy these things, it was so revolutionary at the time. I remember people saying, "They're not going to sell," you know, because <laughs> I mean? it was ninety-nine cents a song, right? Uh -huh. And everything still before that had been sold in albums. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. You didn't go on to Sony and buy the one song that was good on the. I mean, yeah. I was raised in the 80s. They call it One Hit Wonders. Yeah. There was a million bands that came out, and they had a great song. Maybe a second song was yeah. okay. The rest of the stuff was crap. It was like, <laughs> how could you come up with such a great song yeah. and have this? The rest of your stuff's just junk. It's, yeah. it's like you're not even the same band, right? Yeah. But so they saw that, right? Mm -hmm. they, they could see it. They knew it. And so it, half the reason, I, so I quite liked a lot of the, uh, Actually, the very best product I ever had was a... Uh, Oh geez, Palm Pilot phone. Yeah. And it was the it was one that they came out with, and it was called a different name, I think, Trio or something like that. But it was Palm. And uh, China bought Palm, mm. and I supposedly it's the base of what they use for a lot of their phones. It really was very intuitive. It it could do a lot of things. You'd go into your maps, and it would have even really great detailed maps and stuff back then. Um, I don't love maps on iPhone. Yeah, I use Maybe Google. Either. Yeah, I mean sometimes I'll put it in, and I okay. Yeah. You know, but, but it's maybe I just want to see what the address is or, yeah. you know, how it comes right. out, right? So at the end of the day, they innovated it. I think the, num the number one reason is there would be features on the Samsung. Mm -hmm. Lots of features. Yeah, almost there, too many. And, and, and 10 years ago, they had way more programs, right? Apps. Yeah. yeah. I mean, everybody it was this wide open platform. So you download the stuff. Almost too many. Yeah. Because half of it didn't work. It didn't always work, right? Yeah. It uh, wasn't perfect. I had one Samsung. It worked perfect. I got the next one that was the supposed to be the upgraded version. Uh -huh. And then I found out, well, it is Samsung. Back then, they'd have a couple different companies make it for yeah. it. Right? Uh -huh. So they had, it's like, it was trash. I couldn't even do half the stuff on it. Yeah. iPhone, 
4 s yeah. comes out you know mm -hmm. and it was the same platform right yeah whether you had a, if, if you had a 4s right now mm -hmm. and the update was coming yeah it would i I think they still update. Like, can you keep updating it? Right? Um, I mean, I think now the earliest is like the six or the seven. Okay. I mean, that makes sense. And we're almost, ten, that's like 10 years out almost. That's like yeah. 10 years ago. So it makes sense why they would. I mean, at some point there's yeah. gotta be, I mean. Exactly. It was a different phone made. Yeah. But it went a long time. I remember, I do remember I had, uh, my kids had a four mm -hmm. and I had the four S. And I remember the four wasn't working. The S, I can't, I don't even know what the difference was, but. I got quite a few upgrades when they, when they dropped off. I mean, uh -huh. I, there was like probably the six, seven, yeah. five, you know, whatever it was. And uh, everything they had on there, they made it proprietary. You couldn't just write anything. They had to approve it, right? Yeah. They made it work with the phone. And that's what I love about Apple. Yeah. There's very few things you have on there that, uh, I wouldn't even say it has all the bells and whistles. It just works, yeah. right? And the rest of my family got Apple. They, they yeah. liked Apple. It was easy for everybody to use and then integrate, right? Yeah. You're sharing pictures, you're sharing uh, uh, you, location. Find yeah. my iPhone. As well, a dad, it, when I bought all those phones and I had like six or seven yeah. phones out there, I wanted to know where my kids were. Mm -hmm. First of all, they's like, I'm like, hey, I'll turn your phone off if you don't yeah. leave your damn location on. Yeah. Right? It's like, you guys are stupid. You turn off the phone, yeah. you turn off your location when you're going somewhere, you know? Yeah. It's like, well, you don't know where we're at. Uh -huh. I'm like, I'll turn that phone off. You know? yeah. And I don't get too hard on stuff. It's like, uh -huh. I want to know where you're at. You know yeah. what I mean? But it was more than that too, right? It was also um, to where you could communicate and have, have that, you know? Well, and even like, it's just the simplicity of everything about it. Like how seam seamlessly I can use my phone and my laptop interchangeably. Yeah, and, love it. Or airdropping stuff over to you if you have an Apple product or FaceTime, like all of those different things that Apple just has made so simple, so efficient. I feel like Samsung doesn't have those things. Like maybe they do and I just don't know about it because I don't use Samsung products, but like I don't think they have like an airdrop feature. Do they? Do you know? I don't know. Like I mean, it's been long enough now uh, I, so I have, uh, my brother is a Samsung user and he, he, and he always has like the latest and greatest phone. Yeah. Or sometimes I'm looking at what he's doing, uh, like Google maps on yeah. his, it's like, he's got more features, you yeah, know, it um, is. there'll be another program that we both will use. And it's like, I mean, it's, it's got more bells and whistles on it. Yeah. But at the end of the day, I'm like, I'm not even using it to the higher level. Right. I yeah. mean, maybe that feature that he's using, but so, so I'd say they're probably, it's probably like it always was. Yeah. Why are people? I don't know why people would you have a Samsung now. Um, I've wanted to support it. Apple's an American company. I know it's yeah. made overseas and some of these other things like that. But the technology's here. It's an American company. Part of that is what I've supported too. Mm -hmm. I mean, to say that that was a no factor would be lying. But I, I look at Apple as uh, uh, the older I get, the more I become a minimalist or an essentialist or whatever yeah. you want to say. That is what I love. I, uh -huh. I feel like what this has is it's replaced. I feel like Samsung, even though they have more bills and whistles, mm -hmm. they've tried to keep up with Apple. Yeah. Apple's led the way, right? Yeah. And so I think they feel like, shit, we have to have more bills and whistles yeah. to oh, get people to exactly, do it. It's, yeah. and, and I've seen them. They've got clear resolution. I mean, the mm -hmm. phone, I think, for a lot of it is there. But when you're using it mm -hmm. for everything, what... It was a smartphone, and then it became like the everything phone. I knew people yeah. that resisted it. My parents, I mean, they're 20, 30 years older than me. Yeah. Right? A whole other generation that's like, but your parents, I, everybody, everybody has a smartphone. Oh, yeah. I don't know anybody. I mean, there's a couple of cowboys I know that got an old flip phone. <laughs> and uh, I know a couple of people that do have an iPhone, and they don't use it except for to make calls. Yeah. It's like, I don't know why this kid, I don't know why the kids are texting me. You know what yeah. I mean? I've heard guys yeah. say stuff like, it's like, I'm not going to text them back. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it, it has less to do with that whole uh -huh. functionality. And I love Apple because it's what we're talking about today. I feel like Apple is definitely that. Uh, and I, I think Tesla, yeah. the way that Musk thinks, uh, and I, I point that out because I want to direct people. Those, those guys are better icons to follow. Those are the people I want to follow, right? Yeah. The way Jobs was. He wasn't known for what he, people that knew him, and looked at him as a great innovator, never questioned how awesome his products were. Yeah. But they point out, the, the people that looked at him as innovative is not what he made, yeah. but what he said no to, mm -hmm. right? Hey, we're gonna, we've got it down to a head. I, I think when he went back and took, it, took the company over, 
Yeah. And I'm going to misquote this. They had lots of different products, mm -hmm. right? Desktops that, that ran on different, you know, yeah. Macintosh, uh, Mac yeah. books. I mean, it was like a lot of things. I was, it, it, I was surprised when I actually heard how many products they had and they weren't, some were not even selling like yeah. at all. And, and they were considered some of the best, right? So they maybe had the best. They just weren't known for X, right? Yeah. And he comes in and what does he get it down to? I mean, like right out of the gate, it's like, we're going to do this iPod. He already had, um, what's his film company? It was Oh, uh, Pixar. Pixar, right? Yeah. Which he, uh -huh. it, I mean, he, he, he was great at saying no because he was an essentialist. What yeah. did he wear? Just he had 501 yeah. jeans, Levi Strauss, and that black turtleneck. Yep. And it's weird because I'll see pictures of him and like he was sick at the end and stuff mm -hmm. like that. And he's kind of like in t-shirts or yeah. like a Hawaiian type shirt. Uh -huh. and he, he got really skinny. So, he did, you know, with all that stuff. But I think it didn't, it, it, like you have to take a double take. Because yeah. he was so iconic. He was just such an essentialist at, mm -hmm. at the highest level. And I think that's what we need in this country. He, yeah. When he came out with a lot of that stuff, it was in the Great Recession, period. Yeah. I mean, the iPhone came out in what, 2009? Yeah, it was like right after. Like when everybody was dying, right? I yeah. Mean, and he came out with this new product that cost more. Yeah. With, you know, but it was all the integrated features. He had mm -hmm. said no to all these other things. And, and he was introducing a store online that you could buy and have it in the cloud. Now, here's the crazy yeah. part with that. I had Sprint mm -hmm. was my carrier at the time. And I could get an, iPod, an iPhone at mm -hmm. some point in there. I had bought through Sprint their music. Um, they had a music channel you could buy and download the mm -hmm. songs. I went to upgrade my phone, and it was from a Samsung to the iPhone, I think, yeah. at the time, because it was a little bit later. I couldn't transfer my music, yeah. right? Because they dropped the cloud. They were getting beat already. By yeah. the time I was transferring 100% to Apple, it was like, no, nah, we can't compete. I mean, and it's like, are you shitting me? You know, it's like, yeah. I'd buy, it, they charge different for songs. It was like some, uh, some songs I'd paid two bucks for. And, some were know. like 129. Or, yeah, it was like yeah. all over the place. But I had bought a lot of music, and I remember just being bugged. It's like, man, I don't want to do the iTunes thing, right? Yeah. And, 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 and it's like, no, 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 they're going to be around to stay because they, right? It was integrated with the phone. Yeah. They didn't introduce something. Um, I mean, the best drones when they first came out mm -hmm. was Apple, right? I mean, initially yeah. and now, I, it, it's just crazy to me. So I think there's something to be said. About being simple. So simple. And I well, think a well thought out plan. Yeah. That's very simple. You could, you could relay it to anybody, right? Mm -hmm. if, it's, if it's more complicated where uh, the people that don't have anything to, don't know much about real estate, commercial mm -hmm. real estate, it seems complicated. Yeah. Right. And, and like maybe there's some nuances. Right. I mean, I still don't know how they make this stuff. Right. All, yeah. all the way. It's like exactly. It's yeah, just I amazing to me. Right. It's got every bit of knowledge that's ever been. You can yeah. Google it. If not, I mean, you still can reach it one way or the mm -hmm. other. So for me, it's like but but the but the. It was an easy sell. Yeah. We're going to come out with the best looking products with the smallest sleek. You know, he out of the dick, he, that Gorilla Glass. Yeah. That actually at first, if you dropped it, you would. The, the screen would just, you know, yeah. but it was still the best high quality glass mm -hmm. that there was out yeah. there. They just hadn't come up with some, you know, they were putting them on phones. The point is, it, I dropped this thing now. They really have. You can drop it in water. Oh, and yeah. It works, right? Yeah. I mean, uh, they made, we act like they haven't come up with too many things. It's like they've just, the newer version, it mm -hmm. looks about the same. But then you start thinking, like, hey, what happened to your, I mean, I replaced so many screens and it was like hundreds and hundreds yeah. of dollars. You know, you almost know. had to get a brand new one. I dropped mine on, I bashed it right on a cement stair, and all that happened was just a little nick out of it. And, bef like, I'll even show you. You can probably see it right here, maybe, like, down there. Do you even see it? No. Yeah, there's, like, there's I'm just blind. a tiny little nick. Maybe I'll be able to zoom in on the camera. Yeah, know, yeah, but, show it off. Um, there's just, yeah, tiny little nick, slammed it on a cement step, screen face down, and nothing. <laughs> And I had, uh, I had, ru I've ruined a couple iPhones and dropped in the water. You know, yeah. one time I, I forgot I had it in my pocket and I wasn't going to get in the water at a pool. I was mm -hmm. just going to be there with the kids. I had swimsuit. My favorite swimsuits are the ones with actual like pockets and yeah. you know, yeah. big pockets uh -huh. in it so I can carry all my stuff. Anyway, I, I, I spaced it off. I jumped in and it was, it was done. Right. Yeah. It was like, Wonderful. put it in, put it in rice, put yeah. it in all these other things. It's like, 
it, and I don't think you could leave them submerged. The water resistant, right? But the point is, yeah. they have made a lot of advancements, mm -hmm. right? More than, and they are sleek, and they're, they're, I mean, that's a beautiful phone you've got. I've got the older, it, it's brand new, edition three, but it's, it's, it is some of the older technology. Yeah. But overall, the phone's still bulletproof, and it, and it operates with everything. It's just yeah. not as... Uh -huh. uh, glitch. I mean, I, I, when I do see them, I, I forget how beautiful they are. But uh, aside, aside from that, I guess that's it. We, you know, we've gone on maybe a little longer than what we thought we were going to do. Mm -hmm. And at the end of the day, I think we, uh, uh, what I want to convey is that it, it is simple. We've used good examples, I think, in that today, only to inspire. It's what we are trying to do here yeah. is, is not to fo focus on the doomsday. I mean, yeah. I really don't even want to be worried about it. Having said that, we're humans. We yeah. do worry. Things change, and, and, and especially when we don't have control. And I think mm -hmm. that's, if there's any wisdom that I can give to anybody, um, it's the same wisdom I guess I'd take from some older guys that they used to say to me, you can't control any of this stuff. You yeah. really can't. It's not, you, you can control when you get up in the morning, mm -hmm. when you go to bed, the food you eat in a day. Yeah. And, and, and there's times that that might even be a little harder if, yeah. you're, if you're tight on cash, right? Exactly. You know, if you don't have... Yeah. And, and where you're going to live, but 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 you can control those to some degree, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, you can work enough hours and do that. You should yeah. be able to control that. And so, how you spend your money, how much reserve do you have, mm -hmm. all that other stuff. You, those are things we can control. But if if the market falls out, we're going to give up, or we're going to say we can't do it. No, I I, I want to be a couple steps ahead, which is what we're trying to do by just having a simple plan of like, hey, we're going to give the best service, and look where where's the opportunity is going to be, right? Mm -hmm. Um. That, that's really it, I guess. I, and so whatever that is in, in everybody's desired field or maybe a field of vocation that they're wanting to do, and I think some of the things I just want to point out with that is educate the heck out of yourself, but I don't think that the college route is there. Yeah. Um, we've got to come up with better plans for our, our health care mm -hmm. that I think are going to bankrupt uh, our, our system. You know, there's some things that are just glaring, like right there, yeah. and, and the student debt is, is horrendous. It's like oh, so... It's terrible. Beyond, I'm like, why the hell did you guys do that? Well, um, well, they say if you go to, if you get a college degree, you're going to make X amount. way more over yeah. your whole lifetime. It's like, well, yeah, that used to be the way. Not Most anymore. of the guys I know that are making real money are, didn't go. They dropped yeah. out. And, and Elon Musk would not be saying that if he didn't think. I mean, he's hiring people. It doesn't matter. Yeah. He just wants smart people, right? Exactly. Whereas, However uh, they learn. It, However they learn. Yeah. And, it, and, and some of it, he looks, I mean, I've heard him go off on that a couple of times where he says, somebody that can just jump in and, and, and do, right? Yeah. They're, they're good at working through stuff. They'll spend their time. I think he allows people to make some mistakes too, as long as it's like, hey, they're learning from it and they're yeah. going to be part of the team going forward. That's huge. I mean, that's, uh, if I had to go back and I looked at times, I mean, I probably blew some teams up. And I know that I had some partners and people that were on teams that, that did too. I try not to do that anymore but mm -hmm. I, because I look at it and say, um, I, our relationship mm -hmm. with the business we've got here, that's a good thing. I, don't, I, I cannot think like a 22-year-old anymore. You know what I mean? Yeah. And, I, and, and mine, when I reference back there, I was like, all the 22-year-olds I know now are smarter than when I was 22. I made a lot of mistakes. I just yeah. didn't, I, I wasn't ready for that, even though I thought I was. Uh -huh. At the end of the day, it's like, no, you know what? I need that perspective around me all the time. People mm -hmm. talking about things and then, uh, if I've got strong feelings, I'll have to like really look at it. Is yeah. this, is this, am I saying the right thing right now? Or am I just saying what I've been, what's always been said? Yeah. And that's how I think it, it, it's a combination of that, but simple, a simple, very defined plan mm -hmm. that could change if needs be, but at the most part, it's, it's, it's bulletproof. I think that that's where yeah. we're at. So any other I, closing? I, I note? think just uh, one thing that I wanted to say was that, we started the this episode talking about the doomsday stuff yeah. and i think that in any time throughout history even like especially nowadays you can you can always find what you're looking for so if you're trying to find doomsday you're going to find doomsday all day long even in the good times you're going to find doomsday yeah, absolutely but if you're looking for opportunity and just what's going on that's good in the world you're you'll be able to find it regardless because we talked about this maybe two episodes ago. There's opposition in all things. So if there's a bunch of bad, then you know there's going to be a bunch of good. So if there's a lot of doomsday, look for those opportunities because there's so many of them. I mean, I'm seeing stuff every single day, how to make more money, and I wish I had 60 hours a day to try everything out, but I don't. 
And so, but there's people out there who do have a lot of time, who don't like what they're doing, and there's just so much opportunity right now. So I think if you focus on that and look for the opportunity, look for the positive, there's so much of it out there. I love it. I think that's a great way to end. And I'll just add to that is that I've seen when people do innovate in a bad time, mm-hmm. um, that's when uh, super wealth is made. And I say wealth, you know, it, it's more than just the money, right? Yeah. The, the lifestyle that they created for, I'd say, a legacy type money, it's something that could bless the generations. Yeah. And, and it does happen at that time. Somebody came up with something in that crappy time period, mm-hmm. right? Now, first, you don't come up with that unless you're already looking where yeah. opportunities are and you're not concentrating on doomsday. Exactly. And there's a lot of doomsday. There really is. In fact, it's just weird. I don't, well, we haven't really fully crashed out, right? Like it wasn't a wait and stuff. Um, the amount of talk is, is very interesting. So do not buy into it. Don't buy into the, the, the negative. It, it, see what's there and come up with that. Look, look where that silver lining or where maybe somebody else has never looked, you know? Yeah. But I think if you keep it simple and you know what else to say no to, right? Mm-hmm. Which is why I always say I don't love other life hacks, you know, or not. Hacks, you know, side hacks. So, yeah, so, so what side do you call hustles. Side hustle, yeah. hustle, not hack. I don't know where you get that. <laughs> the side hustle. Uh-huh. Um, well, there's a, there's a place for side hustle, mm-hmm. right? Especially if you're working a job and you've got some other opportunities there. But I think at the end of the day, um, let, let's say you do have a side hustle that will work. The truth is, it's not that I don't believe in it. That's where some of my great ideas have come from yeah. and then implement it in. But if you can do it in a simple way, keep that simple mm-hmm. and focus on where that opportunity is. If you're working every day, You'll see that. Yeah. You'll be aware of where those opportunities are. So anyway, think that's good. Uh, please like and subscribe. We're, uh, uh, we're getting more subscribers to the YouTube channel, and we are thankful for you, and we would love any other additional feedback. We've got some great feedback uh, directly and from some viewers, and uh, please uh, let us know how we can make this better. Thanks, and have a great week.